is I always ask people now, who's your number one competitor? In fact, we did it today in staff meeting. We had some young guys and I said, hey, who's who's your number one competitor? And the guy named another competing insurance agency. And I laughed and I said, no, that is not the right answer. And we asked around and somebody got it right. And they said, time is our number one competitor. And when you are doing all the things right, your only competitor is time. So it gets down to an efficiency level. And just imagine you had two salespeople. They both knew their product better than anybody else in the world. They both were motivated. They both were well-dressed. They both were coachable. They both, um, you know, were smart. They both had great people skills. And you, you put them off to the races to see who would sell, you would think, well, that it could be very close. But if one of them is a much better time manager than the other, over time, he will murder the other because both salespeople can sell every time they're in front of the customer. But who's smart enough to not do paperwork between eight and five? Who's smart enough to when they're in the car, be on the cell phone the entire way, not listening to the radio? Who's smart enough to dictate their emails versus type them? You know, it's all these little factors. 